Well, hello, welcome to Friday Game Night. Thank you for joining me. We're going to take this online Bible quiz together. We have fun doing it together. So um, let's get to it. So let's find out the category. And then as we see the, each question, you can remember your answer, write them down. And at the end, we compare who has the most correct answer. So this week is actually the life of the Apostle Paul. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how well we do with this one, huh? All right. Question number one, which I, looks like I need to move up. Okay. Question number one. Paul, Saul, was present for the stoning of what early disciple of Christ? John, Ananias, Stephen, or Mark? Okay. Usually the first question is very easy. I want to say very easy, but relatively easy uh, compared to the other questions. So, as we all know, it was the first martyr. And let's answer. I will answer Stephen. So, I think, I think you'll answer that one, too. All right. Question number two. What road was Paul traveling on when Jesus appeared to him? The Emmaus Road, the Roman Road, the Damascus Road, or the Sumerian Road? Again, another Easy question, right? Easy, right? On the road to Damascus. Damascus. So, I pretty much think you'll answer that one, too. Question number three. What happened to Paul after Jesus finished speaking to him? Okay, he was completely deaf. He was completely blind. He slipped into a coma. He trembled violently for days. All right, again. I think this is a pretty easy quiz. Question number three. We know the, the light blinded him. So he was completely blind. All right. So I think you and I are three for three. Question number four. Who went to Paul and prayed that he might regain his sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit? Was it Peter, Judas, Aquila, or Ananias? Again, I think this is a pretty easy question. All right, if you know the story, this is when Paul was, uh, saw Jesus, talked with Jesus, was blinded by the light, and God had actually spoken to the other gentleman that Paul saw would see him. And it was Ananias, right? Ananias. Ananias, all right? I think we're four for four. Let's go for five. How did Paul escape? Okay. From the angry Jews in Damascus. He was let down to the wall in a large basket. He hid with a traveling caravan. He swam through the city's aqueduct where he altered his appearance. He altered his appearance and clothing. Clothing. I don't remember this story. But I'm leaning towards let down through the wall in a large basket. I'm leaning towards that. Because the other ones, although they do make sense, I just don't recall it. So, all right. So, first question up for grabs. I'm going to guess let down through the wall in a large basket. Question number six. What did Paul tell Elymas, the sorcerer, that God would do to him for perverting the truth? Strike him dead. Strike him blind. Strike him lame. Or strike him with leprosy. Uh, I actually don't recall the story at all. I remember the sorcerer, but I don't remember the Elemis being the name of the sorcerer. But I think it's strike him dead. That would be my guess. My second guess would be strike him with leprosy. But But I'll just go with my gut, which is usually wrong. Question number seven. Who did the people at Lystra think Paul and Barnabas were? Angels, demons, Hermes, and Zeus, and ghosts? Oh, I think they thought Paul and Barnabas were Hermes and Zeus. That would make sense.
actually do that. But because if this is, I imagine this is in the the Greek and, and the Roman setting, Hermes and Zeus. All right. All right. Let's see. I, I know the first four we got right. The next three. E Question number eight. Why were Paul and Silas thrown in a Philippian prison? For preaching against the Jews, they were falsely accused of stealing, for healing someone in the Sabbath, or for casting an evil spirit out of a slave girl. I know this one, because this is the time when, at midnight, they were singing and praising hymns, and suddenly an earthquake came, and so it's all because of this event. And I'll let you guess before I make my guess, which is the correct answer, I think. My guess is for casting an evil spirit out of a slave girl. All right, I think we're back on track. Question number nine. On the way to Rome, Paul was shipwrecked. Ah, on what island? Cyprus, Crete, Malta, Patmos. It's, I'm leaning to one of the seas. Cyprus or Crete? Cyprus or Crete? Cyprus or Crete? Why do I think it's Cyprus? Maybe God is right. Maybe. That's my guess. All right. And then finally, question number 10. Paul healed Publius' father of what? Fever, dysentery, both of the above, neither of the above. I don't know. So I will say, because God can kill anything and everything, and if it's a great combination of both, I'll say both of the above. Uh, okay, that's my guess. All right, all right. We will. I will submit, and let's review my score, and then we can see your score, which is actually probably better than this one. But hey, hey, forty out of fifty, I got. Hey, that's just two. Two, I got wrong. Let's see what we did, Stephen. Paul was present for the stoning of Stephen. Question number two. What road was Paul traveling on? The Damascus road. All right. What happened to Paul after Jesus finished speaking to him? Completely blind. Who went to Paul? Prayed that he might regain his sight. Ananias. Then question number five. Hey. I think that was the Holy Spirit let me, reminding me no. Reminded me of that he was let down through the wall in a large basket and was trying to escape angry Jews. And here is one question I got wrong. What did Paul tell Elymas, the sorcerer, that God would do to him? Not strike him dead, but actually to strike him blind. All right. All right. Question number seven. Hey, got this one right. Who did the people of Lystra think Paul and Barnabas were? Hermes and Zeus. Question number eight. Why were Paul and Silas thrown in the prison? prison? Yes. For casting an evil spirit out of a slave girl. Ah, I was completely wrong because on the way to Rome, Paul was shipwrecked not on Cyprus, not on Crete, but on, on Malta. Malta. And so that means... The last question I actually did get right. Both of the above. Paul Paul healed Publius's father of both heat fever and dysentery. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Cool. That was kind of fun. Easy questions. There were easy questions to answer. There were a few hard ones. And some I got right, some I got wrong. But hey, we had fun doing it together. So congratulations on your hard work and answering these questions too, which is probably you got more than me, but I, I'm just glad we're having fun. So until next time, remember, God loves you and so do you.